Hey friends, come on in. This is Deb with Art and Grace. If you are new to me, hello, welcome, glad you're here. So let me know that you are here and where you're watching from. I have a really easy idea for you for painting, but I'm going to make ATC cards out of these. So if you guys are swapping ATC cards, I'm going to show you how I do mine when I'm going to do a batch of them. Can you guys see the table? I could not find my brayer before I went live. I don't really have a credit card handy because I've used that before to kind of scrape on paint. We're just going to paint it tonight. It's fine. It's fine. You improvise, right? So I'm going to grab just a large brush and start getting my colors on. I'm going to kind of blend all this together. Y'all see? So my first step is just getting a background down. Now this is a piece of mixed media paper. Sometimes I use um, watercolor paper, just a heavier cardstock type paper. And then when I get a background, I'll break them all up into the two and a half by three and a half size for artist trading cards. We are swapping them in my group. And some of you guys, we've swapped, you and I, and you may be in other groups where you swap. So if you don't, then you just paint this in a larger size. So I'm just doing kind of a combo. I'm picking up different colors as I go and getting a really pretty background for our painting. We are, I'm kind of doing a lot of spring flowers right now. We just did poppies. What else have we done, ladies? Uh, we did lilacs, is that right? Or lavender, we did lavender. And typically I don't do my flowers this early, so I don't know what's gotten into me, but I've been wanting to do, oh, I think we did some sunflowers, but, I've been wanting to paint flowers. I'm just so ready for spring. So there's what we have so far. Can y'all see that? Angela, don't even worry. Listen, I don't know how you do it, of course. Listen, no, no worries. I'll send you one of mine and you don't have to send me one back. But that's the thing is I tell my group and I think anyone who's doing ATCs needs to do the same thing that I'm going to tell you is send them with just a heart of giving and just, I want to bless somebody with this little tiny gift of my art. Do I need to dry that a little longer? And, um, and don't expect one back, you know, because it's just, it is more fun to give and know that you're brightening somebody day, somebody's day. And if you don't get one back, so what? I mean, it's, it's just, don't sweat the small stuff. Okay, I'm going to cut down my page into the two and a half by three and a half, which is the size for ATCs. If you're not doing ATCs, then what I'm going to paint on these, you just paint it big if you want to. So let's see, two and a half by three and a half. Okay, I'm trying these new brushes. I've never used this brand before. Um, and I never put them on my Amazon. I have an Amazon list for everything. So for glass art, for painting, supplies, all that. And I never put any of these things on there until I've tried them for, like I like to say six months, because I want to see how they wear and how they wash up and, and if they hold their shape and all that. Hello guys, glad you're coming in, Craft Crazy Company. Hi Celeste. Um, so I can't recommend them. I don't know, but they look good. We'll see. I don't know until, until we try. Oh, I'm going to get out the rest of my colors. I'm going to get a green, kind of my favorite spring greens here. So what I will do when I'm done is I will attach this to a playing card with some permanent glue. And, you know, that's my ATC card, but I like to paint on, you know, kind of get a background down and then if I'm going to paint, just paint right on top. So I'm going to do a little bit of our green grass down here. Oh, hold, hold please. I forgot to turn around where y'all can see. Now that I've got my camera this way today, I need to turn it where y'all can see. We're just doing a little bit of a grass look is all. Nothing fancy. I think I'll go to a smaller brush and do a stem. Okay. 
So don't ever tell me that you can't do this. I like to teach designs that anybody can do. You can do that. So, right? So already you need to tell yourself, oh, that's easy. I can do that because all we did was a few brush strokes going here and there and one going up. So, yes, you can. You can do it. Okay, so I'm going to kind of start high, and we're going to do some of my favorite flowers, which are blue bonnets. So I'm kind of giving a little tip of the blue bonnet. They usually have a very light green kind of tip. So if you notice, this is just a few brush strokes coming down to give me that beginning. Now I can go in, I'm just wiping it off and grab some dark blue and some periwinkle blue and give us some petals. I may want to switch. This is the first time I've used these brushes. Y'all saw me open them, but I think I can get what I want. They're working great so far. And I'm just making some little petal shapes. Now I would normally go right here on top of that, but it's still wet, so I'm gonna wait but I will be covering up that green line for the most part. And then I kind of start getting larger as I go down and I'll start putting a few going a little different way. They're not perfect. You know, you'll have some kind of coming off to the side, but this is one of the easiest flowers to paint and it's so pretty. You don't have to be from Texas to love blue bonnets, right? but it's spring and, well, almost spring. I'm pretending it's spring. I've got a spring handle going. Can y'all, let's see, let me move the right way and point the right way. Everything's backwards. There it is. It smells so good. In fact, I think it's called spring lilacs or something. So as you see, just kind of getting a little larger as I go down. And, you know, anywhere I want to, I can fatten up one of the petals or whatever. Okay, let's see. Did that kind of even it out some? Now, I like it to dry a little, but since it's so small, it doesn't have time to dry. But we're going to come right back on top. This time, I'm grabbing the periwinkle and white. And we're going to add little bits of the white to our little flowers, flower petals. And you can go much quicker on this part. You know, I, I'm kind of taking my time because I'm not in a rush, but just go right over the top. So coming back on these with some white, kind of all the way down. and call it a day on that, okay? And then I, I might add a little greenery if I think it needs it. I might add a leaf or something down here. And in, on, honestly, that's that's all you have to do. So there's your first one. Oh, I do want to go back and cover that center green. So just kind of put a few little small ones in here. I don't like, you know, maybe some of the stem showing, but I like to cover some of it. So like so. And there's your first one. I might even put little bits of, I'm going to put that periwinkle blue, just little bits of that on a couple of these green ones here at the top, just hints of it. And then just a hint of the white. But if you know anybody that loves blue bonnets, this would be a sweet thing to do for them. Paint them a little card or a little ATC or even a picture. And there you go, that's your first one. Now you can do these really fast. If I wasn't upside down, we could do them a lot faster. Um, and just do them in a row. Deco Art had some of the sealer. Okay, great. Did you use the 20% off? Please tell me you remembered. 
So start at the base, come out, kind of go in both ways just to make some whimsical grass. I'm coming back with that lime green color and doing some with that. And then we will make a stem like so. The VIPs also get a discount on anything I sell. So like anything on Etsy, but you all can get the discounts on the deco art paint. I've got it on my website, artgracepaint.com. Okay, here's where we're gonna start our little petals. Sometimes I'll put a couple together, like, you know, like they're kind of in a bunch. But the main thing on these is that you're just kind of going down. And getting a little larger as you go down. Let me put this one out for y'all to see the final. I love. I just have loved doing the ATC cards. I had no idea that we would do them this long and kind of keep going, but they have turned out to be such a little blessing for all of us. You know, we all love getting them, and I just do a challenge each month so that it's kind of like, okay, this month we're going to do spring, or next month is going to be breast cancer awareness, or whatever is going on. And, you know, it's just fun, and fun to get in the mail. Um, one of the ladies in my group, her brother has been checking her mail, and she said, he has gotten to where he's like, oh, look, you got some happy mail, you know, and he's like enjoying seeing them. So I'm making him one right now. And just, they they bring joy. So it's a fun thing to do. If you've never tried it, if you don't know what an ATC is, it stands for Artist Trading Card. And they're always two and a half by three and a half. That's just the standard size never ever to be sold. They're always to be gifted or traded. And they were originated, I want to say in the 80s. It wasn't all that long ago. And somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but it wasn't that long ago um, by an artist who kind of uses, used them almost like a business card where he would say, yeah, here's a piece of my art. And somebody would go, well, here's mine. And and then if you want to connect with that person later, you know, you remember what style or whatever was their thing. So I do love to paint mine, but I also do a lot of mixed media. Have a lot of tutorials on YouTube. So if you haven't made any and you need some ideas, you can head there anytime and see what I have there. See, that shape's not terrible because honestly, they really are all different. Okay, and I think it's perfect. I think we have just the right amount of stem showing, but you can always go back and take a little green and then add in some stem. You know what I mean? Just kind of pop down some green. But there's that. And because we have a little room here, I didn't bring it up as high. Um, I'd probably write something on there. So you could write, you know, it depends on who you give it to, but you could write a sweet little message. You could write a Bible verse, you know, whatever you want to do. You, how quick we did that. 30 minutes and we did two. And I have all these backgrounds. So, you know, I'll probably finish these after dinner, but they're so fun. So I think you should all try it. Yes, that well, they definitely brighten days. I appreciate y'all so much. Have a good night. I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.